everyone, it is Toby here, back for a brand new episode of Unorthered Blogs, and we're back. The original Tobster skin is back due to high demand by people on the server, and to be fair myself, I just lost the skin for a while when I made Lord of the Rings, and I didn't really want to admit it, so I was using my Lord of the Rings skin for unorthor blocks and SMPDX and stuff like that. So we got the skin back, I managed to find it deep in a file somewhere on my computer. And we are back and it's it's been um a month. Yeah. I really have a minor explanation, but nothing that excusable. It sort of breaks down into three parts. Uh one of my good friends on the server, Deadly Remington, left the server to join another SMP. A traitor, I know. An absolute traitor. And I used to get a lot of the progress done on this castle and stuff whilst talking to Rem. So when Rem left, I didn't really um, do too much on it. But that is one of the minor reasons. Another is university. I had a lot of coursework and my final, like project for this semester uh, to get done and that really took up most of my time over the last couple of weeks so I really had not much time during the day to come on and on all the blocks I guess I could have come on in the evenings but that was that and I think I just got a bit burnt out on the whole Minecraft thing and just needed to give my brain a bit of a break uh, play something else do some other stuff and then come back to it with a fresh mind ready to continue work on this but as I said, Remington left to another SMP. But he's back. Rem has rejoined on Orthobox, thank the Lord. So I have someone to talk to whilst doing stuff again, which is nice. I know there are loads of other members, but Rem was uh, one I spoke to by far the most often because a lot of the time it just lined up with our like sleep schedules. And a lot of the other time, a lot of people come on don't really voice chat and just get a lot of hard work done which is commendable to them well done but I like to have someone to talk to uh, which is essentially why I started making videos anyway is because it's like talking to uh, the camera and that sort of thing but in today's episode I've got some stuff to show you we are gonna just jump I'm, I am wearing my electric good jump down here and as you can see I have started work on the paths so I've started work on hooking up the nether portal all the way to the bottom of our uh, path down here with a lovely winding path there and I'm gonna start work on bringing this path down to this sort of area and like splitting up and having uh, fields and stuff like that in this area is like a sort of farming uh, district area which could be quite cool have uh, some scattered buildings down there that sort of thing but that is for the future in today's episode we've got this path here to work on and what needs doing with this is we need a couple bridges. So we need a bridge here going over this river. And we also need a bridge over here going over this river. So we've got two bridges that we need to make. And we also need to continue the aesthetic of the path we've got there onto this path down in the uh, district. So yeah, we got... Uh, this all this uh, granite and coarse dirt here which makes a really nice looking path I forgot how much I like this path in the month I've been absent, but it just it fits really well So I want to continue that down in the plains by and with this path and Basically, that's the aim of this episode get the pathing done from the portal all the way to this uh, Path here that we completed with nano so without further ado, I'm going to get started work on the bridges. So we've got a sort of basic bridge design done for this one. And I'm liking it. It's just a simple little stone bridge if we fly over here, for instance. It fits quite well into the landscape, I think. I quite like it. It's very simple um, because we're going to rely on sort of the world building around it to make it a bit more uh, good, nice to look at. So we might put like a little hut thing over here I'm gonna add in obviously some probably some cracked and mossy stone bricks as well just to pop it out a bit mix in some andesite with the path and I think it should end up looking quite nice so let me just fly to sleep unless mighty does it let's see who gets there first but yeah it should be some pretty nice world building if we make the bridge looking 
pretty nice. So let me fly up here. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like it. I like the stone bridge down there. It does need some mixing, obviously. Because at the minute it's not textured at all. But if we get some andesite uh, in with the stone. And then some cracked stone bricks in with the stone bricks. It could end up looking super nice. Okay, so we've made some good progress down at the bottom of the path here. And you can see now I've actually got some other trees and stuff in. So what I started by doing is adding some cracked and mossy stone brick with these lanterns. And my goodness, does that look good. This bridge is already fitting into the area really nicely. I also added some andesite into the stone here uh, as per usual, which looks really nice. And this uh, bridge is now really fitting into the environment a lot more, especially over that side as well. So that it's, it's looking super nice. And over this side... I've added in more of our trees, so we've got this big oak boy here, um, which is looking super nice. We've got some lanterns hanging off. We've got a, a bit more of a stubbier tree here that is a bit further down the hill. And then we've got a big sparse patch here where I'm thinking I'm going to add a tree up on here, but not any on this side because I'm liking this view of the forest. Uh, and then it's just connecting into where we finished off the trees with Nano, which was just about here. So I've added in more of these fences with torches for some lighting. A little bit of bow meal, a, a bit more sparse up here and then getting a bit more uh, full on down here with some more berry bushes as we come into the forest where it's going to be a lot more lush and green. And I also added in this big dark oak stump, which I really like. I tried to build a custom dark oak tree. I didn't really get anywhere with it. I couldn't really think of a good way to make a custom one of these trees because they look pretty good already. So I just made a stump. Which I think looks cool. It could have been like a big tree here that would have been in the way of the path and needed to get chopped down sort of thing. But it just adds uh, a bit of a crossover between the two biomes. Sort of ties it in a bit more. But yeah, that, that's this half of the path pretty much done. I think I do want to add in like a couple trees up here just to, you know, expand the biome a bit more. See how Nano's got one up here. Put one maybe like here, that round about the place. Do something up here, maybe a cave. I don't know, but this is all future stuff to do. Uh, as for the next thing to do in this episode, we are going to move on to continuing the path, maybe building another bridge over there, that sort of thing. But as for this bridge, it is complete. So we've made some more progress on the path down here, and it's actually turning out really quite nice. And yeah, I think it's going to be a really cool little project to do. So what we've done down here is obviously you've seen the bridge and stuff before. I've just added in uh, this little like jetty down here with a small path going over these tree roots down here. So I'm thinking like now most boats aren't going to be able to get under here. Like the little player ones will be able to and stuff like that. But most big uh, like cargo boats aren't going to be able to get under here. So I thought let's have a place for them to be able to moor up and then offload stuff into carts that could go up to the castle uh, nice idea there but anyway yeah we have continued the path going all the way through the roofed forest here and I forgot how many how many mobs this roofed forest spawns so I think we're gonna have to like somehow light up most of this forest I don't really want to torch spam it I might like terraform not terraform but like landscape these trees to be a bit more dense and together so mobs then can't actually get through to the path could be quite cool but anyway yeah this path just continues through the forest here goes into a bit of a clearing which i'm thinking we could do uh, something in here like maybe a little traveler camp a couple carts a couple tents that sort of thing and then of course we go through here winding through the trees with more lanterns hidden about the place all the way up until we break out to the plains biome over here and I've continued that coarse dirt and granite path that we've got up in the route up to the castle. Because I think it looks really nice as a path block. And yeah, so we're just continuing all the way over here through the plains. And look at that view of the castle we get there. That is, that is just great. I'm so happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. But anyway, yeah, we just come here. And the next thing we need to do is build another bridge over this river here. To connect us up with the path over here. And I'm thinking we do another one of those uh, stone bridges over there, but this time have it a bit di like diagonal. So like sections of maybe five until it connects up to there. Could be quite cool having a diagonal bridge for once. And then we just need to continue the granite and coarse dirt path all the way back up to the portal here, which shouldn't be too hard. 
and then the entire path should be done and in the next episode we can start work on bringing this path up through here and having a little village started but anyway i'm going to get working and i'll catch you guys in a bit okay so i'm finishing off this episode feeling a little bit under the weather but it's all good it's all cool because i have been busy and as we saw earlier in this episode we finished off this bridge and i've now done the path going all the way through here i think i showed this um maybe but anyway a path now yeah continues all the way down through here and all the way over to this bridge that i have now done and it's similar to the other bridge but it's a diagonal style so it's looking pretty cool again a very simple looking bridge but it works for the area it looks nice uh, it doesn't have to be too fancy because obviously we're going to rely on the builds and uh, nature around it to make it look a bit cooler but i think it looks pretty nice for what it is and the next thing to do is obviously connect up the path properly to the portal but that is going to have to wait because in the next episode i've got a new project that i want to try and work on and i think it should be a really cool project a different sort of style that we usually go for and it's going to be over in the shopping district so i'm going to fly over there now it shouldn't be too far my portal is right next to where the shopping portal is if we go through here and so the shopping portals now is like quite central but also just a portal it's not really that looking that magnificent and i'm thinking why don't we make a proper portal building that sort of overlooks the shopping area so I'm thinking that there's this big chunk of grass here on top of the coal mole which uh, I'm thinking I could flatten out a bit um, and I sort of got a little bit of inspiration from Gray's new shop here so I think that I should possibly flatten this out a bit and have a bit, bit of a terrace coming along here so start it over there and come across here and go across there and have a staircase come up this gap here and have the portal in a building in the side of this cave here so then when you come out the portal you get this great view around the shopping area looking super super cool but as i said that is next episode's uh, problem i'm gonna have to check with gray whether or not he minds me sort of chopping off his area here if not if so i'll just uh, sort my own thing out, but it should be pretty cool pretty cool. Yo, so That is that is gonna be it for this episode I hope you have enjoyed I'm gonna take my helmet off so you can see me there we go Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching this episode of an author blocks. I really hope you have enjoyed sorry It's been so long, but I'm gonna try and get an episode out once every week once every couple weeks sort of thing if I can But yeah, that's been it. I've been Toby. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one